Hey, what's going on today, guys? Today I'm going to be unboxing the new Corsair AX 1600i power supply. So, currently in my system, it's four GTX 1070s, as well as one 1080 Ti, and the CPU is Ryzen Threadripper 1950X. All of this hardware combined under a utilized rendering or engineering workload draws around 1000 watts. And with my current power supply, which is the Corsair AX 1200i, I feel like uh, it was really time to get an upgrade. Realistically, you should only be using 80% uh, of the maximum load for a power supply for long durations of use. And it was obviously really pushing the limits with the AX 1200i since it's only a 1200 watt power supply. This one will be a great upgrade in that sense. And not only that, I feel like it's also going to bring many other great things to the table. For example, right now, as of September 2018, this is the most efficient power supply you can get on the market. Sure, there are other ones that are titanium rated, but this one, when you get to exact numbers, it still ranks at number one as of September 2018. For reference, under worst case scenario, this power supply draws at 94% efficiency under its, its worst case scenario, which would be at, at a very high load or minimal load. In comparison, the AX 1200i at worst case scenario does around 92%. And you can see it, it, it ranks just a few notches down below this one, which is obviously number one. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy my unboxing video of this guy. Enjoy. All right, so let's start off with the presentation of the packaging. It has a standard AX 1600i logo right here, a 10 year warranty, uh, pretty much all the bells and whistles you can get. Titanium is a rating for this, which is the highest it gets. Um, right on the back side here, we can see the efficiency curve. I'll show that right up to the camera. And after that, you can see the the fan curve. Uh, you can uh, at, so I read uh, when it gets up to uh, 640 watts between a zero load and then the fan won't spin at all, which is uh, pretty nifty for this, since most power supplies, they default to the span, fan spinning even under a zero load. Um, I'll briefly show you the, the sides of the packaging. And here's the other edge. And then on the top edge, uh, it's, it's always nice. It, they show you which uh, which accessories you get. I'll show in the description of the video. Uh, sorry, there's sunlight there. I'll show it right like that. I'll show again then is in the description of all the peripherals it comes with. All right, let's do this. So uh, the first thing that catches my attention are the different uh, color labels you can put on the power supply itself. I'll show that to the camera: blue, white, or red. So if your if your power supply is visible in your case, unfortunately it's not for mine, but I know there are many glass uh, cases out there that do have it shown apparent. These can be held on with magnetic strips onto the side of the power supply. Now in this bag here, we have a selection of all the different, here we go, all the different uh, s cables and whatnot. Once again, in the description of the video, I'll give an overview of, of all the peripherals that come with in this bag. But uh, a comment, I, immediately off the bat, I wanna comment on uh, how all how well they did on uh, organizing. The pre previously, I don't know if I have one lying around. Oh, here we are. So I'll grab this bag. Previously, the AX1200i uh, came with this bag, and basically they just jammed everything into this. The, th this was a great improvement by Corsair to actually have organizational pouches right here. Uh, I got stuck in my shirt here, but here's also a, a Velcro on uh, cable management. So next thing I see is uh, 
the wall plug-in cable. Uh, this is this is probably something you guys have never seen before. Uh, so this is more of a rectangular shape rather than the standard uh, type we see in monitors and uh, computers. Bec the reason for that is just because it's it's uh, having a, a lot more load than t the typical cables do. So I guess they need that in the, in the design. And here's the other end of the cable. It does have it is three uh, three pin. Uh, it, so it, of course it needs a ground right here. I'm sure the European models are obviously different, but yeah, this is North America. Um, here we have the a cool uh, uh, label that you can put of the Corsair logo. Uh, it also comes with some uh, zip ties right here, so that's always going to be handy. And furthermore, in this in this bag, we have four screws for the power supply itself. Now here's the part you guys have all been waiting for, the main unit. So in the packaging it is in, enclosed in the, the bag right here. By the way, these, these bags are really handy. So it, it even if it's not for this power supply, I'm sure you can find it for something else. I actually use mine for packing my lunch. But yeah, you get the idea. Wow, look at that. Look how small it is. Once again, here's the AX1600i logo. Um, I'm pretty sure, I, I'll have to verify this, but this definitely does look smaller than my AX1600, sorry, my AX1200i power supply. So with it within the the plastic wrap, here's uh, the bare bone power supply itself. We also put a Corsair logo on the top here, and I'll show this to the camera so you guys can get a quick read. Here are all the specifications on the side. I'm sure all you uh, any electrical engineers, you you'll dig that information and uh, you can you can really see how 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 this really stands out compared to the other ones out there. Also uh, attaches, uh, I guess this is a warning label. Silent, uh, you guys can read that. And once again, the logo is right here as well. So even if, uh, if, if your case is like mine, it doesn't show the, the power supply unit, at least you'll see the logo right here. And here on the other side, you can you can you can count how many of each peripherals you get. Furthermore, here's a Corsair Link uh, output. With this, you can actually open up uh, any third party or the software that comes with this device to figure out the actual load at at the at any current time on your system. You can see its efficiency, temperatures, uh, anything else like that. Furthermore, you can even control the fan speed if, if you don't like the way it's defaulted. And right here is a test button. If you press this, basically the fan will spin. Anyway, that's about it, guys. Um, I'll show on screen here a quick comparison of this AX1600i size comparison to my AX1200i. So the main reason how they're able to make this power supply so small compared to its substantial 1600 watt output is because it's the first in the world that uses gallium nitrate transistors. All the power supplies in the past, and right now it's May 22nd, 2018, every power supply you see that comes before this one, they, they all use silicon transistors. So yeah, this is, this is very new innovative technology and and as I was, as like right off the bat after seeing it, I was really surprised at how small it is. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you made it this far in the video. I personally had a lot of fun making the video and taking around with this device. So I definitely do welcome any criticism, comments, suggestions, why not at the bottom of this video. So yeah, um, in the future, I definitely look forward also to making some more unboxing and review videos of different tech products. Until next time, hope you all have a great day. Goodbye now.